Hello everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Hey Seapolics, uh, this video is for you. I am trying out the Wildflowers Stamping Gel. Okay, um, you know, jury's still out on that. I had a difficult time with it, um, and I probably cut out all the difficult moments in the video. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. Um, I watched the Wildflowers video, which I will include in the description box below. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's not an easy process. But maybe I'll get better at it. Let's hope so, because it was quite expensive. And uh, I will just, I'll work on that. And I will... Um, try to use it once a week, you know, to kind of get in the hang of using it and uh, post videos on my YouTube channel. But right now, let's take a look at my very first video. Today, I'll be using Wave Gel's Jazzy Tonight base coat and no clean top coat. And then we're going to use Wildflowers Stamping Gel. The powders, the pigment powders that came with the kit that I bought. I'm going to use their stamper. Um, they showed using it in the um, videos, so I'm going to use their stamper. Um, doesn't all know it work, whatever. And then I've got their scraper, which is super thick. And I've got one of their um, stamping plates, guide plate number one. So let's get started. We have two coats of Jazzy tonight on. Um, everything is cured. I've got the shiny no clean top coat. Gosh, I just can't stop looking at that shine. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I love, love, love it. I'm going to go with these little images right here. I've got a paper towel over here to put that on. Sorry about all the lights. Okay, you want to put your squishy dots on here. Scrape it. And roll it with the stamper to pick it up. So it picked up the image. And I'm just going to get rid of some of this other stuff on here. I don't want on my nail and it lifts off really easy there we go and then I'm just going to stamp it on here and you want to put it on in a rolling motion there we go does take a little bit of practice to get it right so it's not just like like any other stamping it just takes a little bit of practice though I like it Try another one. Little teeny squishy dots. Roll it. Scrape it at a 45 degree angle. And roll it to pick up on the stamper. Okay, we got a good image here. Remove the excess. There, I like that. And then put it on my finger. There. Do a few more. Perfect. So there's nothing in here to wipe off. 
Well, it's over that big blob that just ended there. That's okay. I'll just take that off my finger. Let's try again. Okay, let's try again. Two more dots. Scraping at a 45 degree angle. Roll the pick up. Perfect. And if you get it on your finger, just get it off right away. And we will do one more. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of bob up at the top this part right here that I don't want and then put it in the corner right here like that okay so and I'm gonna go cure the design and then we'll come back and we'll add the colored powder Cured. So I'm just going to rub a little bit of this light colored pigment right over the top. and they all seem to be going well except for that one. That one does not seem to want to grab the pigment. Maybe I didn't get a good enough stamp. That's okay actually. I think it looks fine. So um, now I'm just going to top coat it, remove that, and we'll get the No Clean Top Coat. Just going to put a thin coat over the top. I'm going to do that to the rest of the nails and then cure it and come back. Okay, so here's the finished look. I do like how it came out. The purple is just very light and subtle um, with the powder. So that actually turned out pretty good. Um, it's going to take some practice, I guess. And uh, we'll see. I'll try to do some more designs coming up. But uh, I really like how this looks. I think it's very cute. And I will get practicing. This is actually the first time I ever even used it. So <laughs> if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.